بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسوله رسول الله وآله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك أنت العليم الحكيم My topic today is about cavitating lung lesion and these lung lesions can be a result of a number of diseases process and have some similarities can be a result of due to a new plastic cause or infective cause inf ischemic cause or inflammatory cause and these cavitary lesions can be thick wall more than three millimeter as an infection and in tumor and can be thin wall as in cystic lung disease here is the differential diagnosis of the cavitary lung lesion. If it is with thick wall due to infection, like uh, staph, like anaerobic infection, TB, neoplasm, or uh, due to vascular cause due to infarction, or thin wall less than three millimeter due to cyst and can be multiple. If it is due to infection in neoplasm, collagen disease, emphysema, and cystic lung disease like lung hands, cell histocytosis, lymphangiomyomatosis, and honeycombing. Here is a child with cyst in the right lower lobe, large one, consistent with cystic adenomatoid malformation. And here, large thin wall cyst in the right lower lobe, representing as a pulmonary cyst. Here, multiple cysts noted on the both lower lobes and the more in the lower lobes, more to the left side, and larger on the left side. Here, this is a patient who is 67 years old, patient with staph pneumonia and underwent necrosis and cavitation. And you see the air fluid level and the relatively thick wall. And this is the treatment after treatment to three months. And you see a residual cavity formation in the right upper lobe with thin wall with some. A fibrotic surrounding fibrotic and the grand glass obesity around it. Here, this is another patient, child patient with uh, consolidation in the right of our lobe, and after treatment, after one week, uh, resulting in a pneumatocele. Here, this patient with uh, TB, and you see a thick wall cavity in the right left of our lobe. <laughs> with uh, multiple nodule and the three but the ones and some cystic changes this is the same patient with uh, uh, higher cut in the mediastinal window and you will see the cavitation uh, the calcification and cavitation and you will see here we should look where is the body remnant of the cavity and associated uh, signs like calcification, tree in bud, and uh, if it is child or it is young. Here, yeah, this is four years child patient with fluid level with consistent with lung abscess. Another patient with lung capsis on the right side with the air fluid level. Here we see a patient, a cavitary lesion with soft tissue mass density in it, uh, consistent with aspergilloma, and here it is the this is the mount sign. Here multiple cavity multiple nodules with cavitation. Here, surrounded by halo, this is invasive aspergilloma. 
Here, this is patient with post-transit plant, and we see cavity lesion there, and some irregular nodules and the ground glass opacities, and this is supposed to be due to infection due to pseudomonas. And here, this is a patient with uh, uh, with cavitary lesion, peripherally located, and some ground glass opacities. This patient has a pulmonary embolism, and that cavitary lesion it is post infarcting post infarction. It cavitary lesion. And this patient with rheumatoid arthritis and has multiple nodules in the both lung bases. This patient would have a bully with vasculitis and with cavitating lung nodule. This patient uh, this patient with the mass lesion here with leukemia and uh, cuff and left-sided chest pain. And uh, you, after two weeks later, the mass is cavitating, and this can be due to infection with fungal or can be due to septic emboli or can be due to uh, infiltrate, infiltration by lymphoma. This patient has mass lesion with some necrosis and infiltration in the posterior wall, chest wall, and both to be bronchogenic carcinoma. This patient with lymphoma has multiple nodules here, there, there, here, and in the left lower lobe and the largest one with cavitation. We have this patient with uh, soft tissue sarcoma with metastasis, and we have this nodule, and this is another cavitating metastatic nodule. Here is another patient with multiple nodule, some of them with cavitation, and this is due to metastasis. And here you see the some uh, some uh, knowledge about the metastatic cavitating nodule. Thank you very much for listening. Hoping this will help you in daily practice, and see you soon.